um, I learned traditional tanka painting, Tibetan religious painting. Uh, did a serious studies when I was about 21 years old. <coughs> um, so I know a little bit about Tibetan tanka painting. Um, in India, you can, there is a, there is a, people need traditional paintings, so there's a market for it, something you, know, you can make a living. Um, and it's quite a comfortable life. But in Australia or in the West, there's no need for any traditional painting. But people love art as such. So I just sort of disguise my tanga painting into modern Western art and surreptitiously put my Tibetan tanka knowledge and sneak it into people's home. <coughs> um, that's it. <coughs> um, I live in a uh, Australian, what you might call bush, back in the bush, um, in a little place called Kyogo, a little bit out of Kyogo, with my wife and my son, well, he's, he's 25 year old young man. Um, I've never lived in a city apart from Lhasa, which is supposedly a city was in the city in 1959, I suppose, it's a little, little town with about 20,000, but now it's uh, 100,000 Chinese. <laughs> Sorry about that, my brothers and sisters. <laughs> a bit overwhelming for us Tibetans. <clears throat> but I will bring him back to Australian bush. A long time ago, about 25 years ago, 20 years ago, I bought a little land when it was cheap and built a little house by myself, mostly, you know. And um, I've got a solar-powered house, and um, water is supplied by a roof collection, you know, with tanks and that sort of thing. <coughs> and I grow a little bit of veggies and a little bit of fruits, and I paint madly. I'm, otherwise, I'm unemployable. Um, I don't know any um, skill. I haven't got any other skill. I can build a house, but um, I can do a lot. I can do mechanics. <laughs> Good with my hands, but I haven't got any paper to show for it. But uh, I paint it most of my time. And, uh, you know, you just paint 20 paintings and sell one, and that'll keep you going, you know.
Thank you.